Bonjour. Good morning, Ali. Madam Chairperson, Mr. Secretary General, Dean of ACP, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen. It is my honor to join all of you today and to be introduced as the new resident ambassador, extraordinary and plenipotentiary of the Republic of Palau to the Kingdom of Belgium, as well as head of mission to the ACP group and the European Union. Excellencies, Palau has been a member of the ACP since the year 2000, and we established diplomatic relations with the European Union in 2013. Since then and until 2015, we have had a non-resident representative serving both ACP group and the European Union. Until 2015 and just recently, in 2016, a resident representative. Therefore, our physical presence with resident ambassadors and our embassy here in Brussels and missions to the ACP and the European Union has been only quite brief. These endeavors to maintain our relations and partnership with the ACP group and the European Union have all been successful under the leadership of His Excellency Tami I. Ramangsao Jr., the President of the Republic of Palau. President Ramangsao continues to believe that the continuation of our contribution, presence, membership, and participation to the ACP group is a critical factor in Palau's efforts to meet its sustainable development national goals, including its pristine environment heritage, economic growth, energy self-sufficiency, and human resource development, including implementing global and international agendas. Palau is only a small island developing state, SID, with a population of approximately 17,000. As an island nation, climate change is a major issue, it is, as it is throughout the entire Pacific region, where our island nation at present uh, are at present risk uh, from rising seas, storm surges, droughts, floods, and ocean acidification that together threaten our water and food supplies and our marine biodiversity. In Palau, we are working very hard to do our, our part to implement the Sustainable Development Goals, SDG, as the blueprint of change and regeneration. Palau is committed to provide 45% of our energy through renewable resources by the year 2025, and have also further committed to become carbon neutral by the year 2050. Within this context, we have finalized uh, a comprehensive climate change policy and submitted our international, uh, intended nationally determined contribution. And we are working hard to also protect uh, our Pacific Ocean, the foundation of our culture and the backbone of our livelihoods. Not only have we created a comprehensive network of near shore marine protected areas, in October 2015, we have established a Palau National, National Marine Sanctuary, which, cover, which closes 80% of our exclusive economic zone, an area size of France, uh, to commercial fishing. Excellency and colleagues, uh, while small nations like Palau are taking many actions on our own to stem the tide of environmental collapse, uh, it is only through true global partnership for sustainable development uh, with the participation of all countries, all stakeholders, uh, and all people that we can implement our universal SDGs with the speed and at, and at the scale necessary to respond to our urgent situation. To move forward, we will need the funding and technical support of the international community to implement, uh, monitor, and strengthen our solutions. Uh, and we will need this support sooner rather than later. Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, global partnership is our only hope. Only through real partnership at every level can we implement the SDGs in our generations to transform the world. Only through, through partnership, we can hope to realize the promise of a sustainable future, a future we need for our children and all the generations to come. We can only hope uh, that for generations to come, this ACP group as a whole 
will be remembered for its integrity, solidarity, and for helping to define our response to these global issues through the European Union in coming decades. Only through redoubling our efforts uh, with the greatest resolve uh, to reverse the tide of unchecked development uh, and exploitation of our planet, to end poverty, and to protect the most vulnerable among all of us, will we be able to take the transformative actions uh, necessary to preserve our culture, our economies, and our environment, uh, and thereby ensuring a sustainable, prosperous future for our peoples and children. In closing, it is with deep gratitude and humility that I convey Palau's recognition and acknowledgement of the leadership of the ACP group as a whole in the negotiations and upcoming renegotiations with the European Union on the ACP-EU Partnership Agreement Framework Post-2020. It is our belief that this effort to further promote regional integration and economic in independencies for trade, development cooperation, and political dialogue, and thereby bring our ACP group as a whole into closer contact uh, with the EU, ensure strengthened, the strengthened joint ACP-EU partnership that will yield fruitful, tangible, reasonable cooperation and endeavors. Thank you, and God bless us all in our collaborative work.